Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while. A lot has changed. As you can see from my hair, but uh, let's keep it moving. So three of the things that are the most important things is uh, onboarding. You know, no matter how sick of an app you make, if someone can't log into your app, it's all for nothing. Um, onboarding and authentication, I feel is like one of the most important things where people overlook. Chatting, because that's what's going to keep people on your app. Uh, profile management because that's tied into authentication anyways and you handle that data and like whatever data is being made you know by um, UGM wait user generated content UGC right what Android calls it um, Google Play Store but um you know the users are what's creating the content so if that data is broken the rest of the data gets broken so you know you got to make sure the you know the authentication profile and the chatting is pretty good. So in 2025, to go about learning this is just building, you know? That's pretty much one of the most important things. Um, there's a lot of open source projects, there's a lot of templates, there's a lot of um, boilerplates where you can actually take influence from and keep it moving. So if you were to like have to build your own project, you know, one of the best things you can do is just um, think about, you know, a problem and a solution you can solve with code and then um, not even with code, just think about, oh, it would be nice if I had this, right? And then um, create it. Who cares if it's already there? That's better because then you have a reference of what you're going to build. But just build something that's your own and uh, that would be kind of cool. We're using a lot of like third party things like Discord or YouTube. And, you know, the community is getting pretty big. So I thought maybe having an own platform would be kind of cool. And, uh, you know, that's kind of like a problem I'm solving. So the problem I'm trying to solve with this community app is uh, with Let Social. It's to create a social networking platform, you know, at a certain niche, which are programmers. And uh, maybe there are some features that aren't important to the general public. But uh, maybe asking questions or posting, you know, open source issues or something like that could be really cool and uh, all in one place. One of the main features we're going to have is kind of like Stack Overflow. We're going to have people that can ask questions and then people that ask the, answer the questions. And then the question asker can choose the right answer. And then we'll have a full database of questions and right answers. And also we're going to have a bounty system where uh, you can put up points and uh, people can earn points. We don't know what we're going to do with the points yet, but we got points. <laughs> One of the things I know about Apple is uh, it does things very well. It might not have like the newest features, uh, Bleeding edge features, you know, like um, I think even like widgets took a long time to get the iPhone. Like I think Apple just lets, you know, uh, Android do all the like cutting edge stuff. And then once it's a proven thing, you know, Apple kind of executes it really well. And that's kind of what I want to do with the app. Kind of like, um, you know, make, you know, lean, good app with uh, good execution. Some of the features that I want to do really well is like posting um, comments or posting a post and being able to post the actual code, chatting obviously, handling things very well, make it easy to use, replying to comments, liking, asking questions, and uh, seamlessly integrate the uh, web to the f uh, mobile as well. So I've been working on the back end a lot recently, so um, you know, things you need to know is just like um, how to post get. <laughs> Update and delete, you know, like, um, you know, open up your RESTful API, you know, the path or like your JWT authentication and just uh, handle like the API and give the data back how the front, you think the front end is going to use it. I think it's pretty important, you know, make sure that uh, you don't have a lot of redundancy and uh, have clean, you know, endpoint. Best way to make a good database is, uh, you know, I think it's very subjective, but uh, the most important thing is that everyone understands it, right? It's the most important thing. And also, easeability, you know, easy to use. It just has to store the data in a more organized way and not have a lot of redundant data. Try to map things correctly. We, we went with the first designer. I don't think it, uh, it turned out okay. He went MIA for a while. We found a new designer through uh, Sardor, and uh, we're working online and um, it's cool because he's very responsible. And, uh, you know, we all have to know that this is a passion project. So we're just um, we're trying to do everything well and have fun do it and 
have fun doing it, and just uh, show capabilities and stuff like that. As a junior developer working on the team, the attribute I look for the most is, um, you know, fearlessness, being clever a little bit, and um, asking questions, being able to like watch and learn, show you once and you can do it, you know? Mm. And that's uh, pretty much one of the most important things. And um, documenting well. Where did I learn how to write clean code? Yeah, clean code, yeah. That's very subjective. I find it very dirty sometimes. <laughs> but um, I just look at a lot of repositories. Yeah. And I mean, set my ESLint roles and prettier roles. And usually it handles it for me. But um, just by looks, I don't think it's going to, like, I think it could look like clean code no matter what if you use a like, nice formatter. But actually, like, um, not using excessive for loops or not using excessive, you know, conditionals. Try to do some things like, you know, like you, you learn little tricks about like uh, not using if else and using like objects and uh, you just come to the experience. But you, I mean, being exposed and looking at a lot of GitHub repositories of what you're building is one of the most important things. And like, let's say what you're building, mm -hmm. obviously what you're building is that you're not the first person to make it. So like, look at like, um, I don't know, Express Skeleton or um, Django Cookie Cutter or these are like big open source projects where people kind of like um, do it a certain way and you can kind of like let it influence you a bit. So if you want to learn how to create your own apps or have ideation time, um, you know, click in the link in the description. Um, one of uh, we'll come and talk to you and uh, we'll give you a roadmap about what to do even if you're not the right fit so um, Yeah, hope to talk to you guys soon. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.